All right, so a few hours back, OpenAI just announced Deep Research, which is essentially an agent that will do deep research before it kind of gives you the answer. So it's very useful for scenarios for in cases where you are doing a PhD and you want to do market research or you just want to do some basic marketing research per se. So here's the demo of how it looks like. And I thought, why not create an agent using DeepSeek R1 and Crew AI in order to create an agent like this. So this is a very first version of the agent that does that where essentially what we do is we use crew AI, we use SERP in order to search the web and we use DeepSeek then to summarize all of this and again like you know DeepSeek is also a thinking uh, model which means that it will be able to you know give you the output after doing some thinking per se. I also tried it with the O3 mini API which is I think the foundation behind the OpenAI's deep research agent and obviously the response is relatively better as opposed to DeepSeek but the questions that I asked to both of these agents were different while on the same lines i just wanted to compare how the structure changes with the answer so again the research does mostly the similar thing it gets the executive summary key findings emergence of vertical ai agents which is i think something that even yc has been talking about then we talk about the evidence conclusions and then the reference where we're pulling all of this data from in the future i'll give you the access to the code as well obviously and in the future when you want to uh, you know use chat based interface on top of streamlit where you can ask these agents question you can do that as well so without with that in mind let's just quickly take some of the use cases of deep deep research first and they've given some of the very good use cases here so quick, let's just quickly take a look at these and see how the responses look like here so help me find an ios and android app adoption rates percentage who want to learn another language and change in mobile penetration over the past 10 years for top 10 developed and top 10 developing countries by gdp lay this info out on a table and separate strats into columns and include recommendations on market to target for a new ios transition so uh, general GPT will give you answers like these, but DeepSeek kind of gives you, uh, you know, a detailed table and a list of references where it found the data. It also gives you some recommendations so based on the above prime targets for new chat GPT powered iOS translation app would be countries with large iOS user base, which is obvious and strong language learning demand where chat GPT is accessible, notably Japan, the US, UK, Canada, and the Australia. So all of these things were first searched on the web. And once you get the output, you did some thinking which is exactly what we do in our app as well so i'm going to show you the output uh, i'm going to move my face make my face a bit smaller here but if you look at the output here we do the exact same thing right so we get the list of links to look at so these are the list of links and once we get the links what we essentially do is that we use the deep either the deep sea car one or o3 mini model in order to fetch the data from this and post all of this again the usual flow of summarization goes as expected and you get the final output in the streamlit ui so one thing that we've done differently here is that we've added a ui rather than using this terminal uh, that you see in the VS code here, we will use the UI. If you have not built AI agents before this and you're directly jumping on this video, I would recommend watching some of the videos and which I'll add the link to in the description so that the initial setup of this you can do very easily. But on a very, very surface level, what you need to do is you need to install VS code. And again, all of that will dive in a little bit. Let's just quickly go through these some of the use cases. There's a TV show that I watched a while ago. I forgot the name, but I do remember what happened in one of the episodes. Can you help me find the name? Here is what I remember in one of these episodes two men play poker one folds after another tells him to bet the one who folded actually had a good hand and fell for the bluff so again something that you have in your memory but not exactly remember what the tv show was and what the name was so gpt 40 will kind of give you the output like this but the deep research agent actually does the agent and uh, research and gives you the answer there's the medical research agent where you can also do a deep dive into attempts to improve the reprogramming efficiency of oskm by directly modifying the sequences of four Yaman Kata factors list all the uh, relevant papers you find and so on and so forth right and then obviously the agent does deep research and gives you the answer and I think we should try one of these questions in our use case as well let's take this one and try it with the o3 model and see what we get right so it will also give you an understanding of how to run this in action I'm going to put this prompt and I'm going to do start research I think I clicked it twice so I hope there are no issues there but either ways from the UX standpoint as well find evidence that shows that buttons with icons and labels are more usable than buttons without labels or labels without icons so I 
I know there's been a lot of user studies on it. Would love to see detailed report along with the high level definitive answer on the effectiveness. So GPT-40 will give you something like this, while the O3 based deep, C deep research agent gives you a very detailed output, which kind of gives you everything that you need to know about the UX design, specifically the button and the logo bit. You can also use it for shopping. So I'm looking for the perfect snowboard. I enjoy the groom runs, but I also want a board that can handle some fresh powder on occasion and then a bunch of different things, right? So O1 will give you, sorry, GPT-40 will give you something like this, while O3 will give you like super deep research. And then you can also do this for general research where what's the average retirement age for NFL kickers. And it shows 27 to 28 here. It shows 29 here. And then it also gives you some sources. So again, pretty good here. They've also shared some comparison with respect to the accuracy. So 40 is 3.3% accurate. O1 is 9.1. While OpenAI Deep Sea Research Agent is 26.6. Deep Seek R1 though is on 9.4, which is a very, very low as opposed to the Deep Research Agent, but it's very close to O3 Mini and O O3 High models. Now, what do you need to understand is that this is more of an engineering while these are the models. I think they are using an agentic framework to get data from the web and use O3 to do some maths or calculations on top of the model and then essentially use O3 to summarize it again, right? So yeah, I think in a way they are still using O3 Mini or o High or Medium models, but they are first doing research before they get the uh, data. You can also use it for some other examples here that you can take a look and then you can also use it for expert level tasks that have been mentioned in here. I think the primary use case of all these thinking models is around science based use case or math based use case where you can use it for chemistry, medicines, uh, medical space in general. Again, you can take the look at the demo video provided here or you know what you can actually go through this on your own because this is listed in here. I'm going to go to the agent that we created so that we don't waste any more time. All right. So this is where I did put the so deep research agent. So I just took the prompt that was given to us here and then I added this in the O3 mini model search and you can see the report identifies the TV show episode based on the provided description. After extensive research using counterpart stars, Vicky, the episode question is both sides now from the TV series counterpart, right? So let's quickly take a look at what GPT uh, or deep research agent gave us needle in a haystack. Yeah. So it, we both concluded with the same TV show, but we are not showing the thinking process here. Unlike research is showing us right now. So this is the uh, final output of our agent. And now let's jump into how you can build this yourself. So I'm going to go to my Visual Studio code from this point. And in order to get started here, there are a couple of things that you need to do. First, download Visual Studio code. So Visual Studio code, you can go ahead and download this. The next thing, and once you install this, the next thing that you need to do is download Python. Again, I am assuming that you've already uh, watched some of my previous videos before you came to this video or lecture and you're aware of how to do all of this setup, right? So go ahead and download Python and post this. Once you have the Visual Studio code set up, start a new window and in here, go ahead and I'm going to create a new one just for you. So click on open and then wherever you want to create the research agent.py and I'm going to open this folder and in here we need to set up a virtual environment and in here we need to set up a virtual environment. So create a new virtual environment by clicking on terminal new terminal and then in here paste this command and do source my env slash bin slash activate which will activate our virtual environment so now you've reached the point where i am in the code post that we need to install some libraries and i've added this the libraries that we need to install in here steps to run so we have crew ai python.env langchain open ai langchain community and also langchain olama right so install all of these bits in order to run this code and then let's go to the code now so i also have a terminal based agent where you will only see this but i created a streamlit based agent and which reminds me that you also need to have streamlit here so add this here as well and post that let's jump into the code right so this is python based code if you've not seen this language before i'm assuming that you went through this course so you know what this is import streamlit as st because we want to create a ui like this so streamlit is primarily used to create a ui like this then we import OS for internal operation dot env to get our environment variables. You will also need OpenAI API key and Serper API key. In order to get those, you will have to go to OpenAI API keys uh, platform in here and then get the key for yourself. And then you also have to go to Serper API key and get the API key from here. Once you have both of these in the environment file, just paste both of these keys here along by writing Serper API 
API key and open AI API key and that should set you up with respect to what we need to do right so once there now we can continue doing our setup so we need crew AI obviously in order to build agents so we will import agent task crew and LLM from crew AI we will use crew AI tools we will get server dev tool and website search tool and Langchain open AI in order to use O3 mini model so O3 mini model you may not have access to in which case you will have to rely on deep seek R1 model in order to do thinking and get you the responses now while I wait for and I walk you through the code let's also go ahead and put the same prompt that we put on O3 mini model but this time with deep seek R1 so let's click on start research and let's go back to our code so I can also show you in terminal what is happening so as we added that prompt you can see the prompt came here and we are now running these agents one after the other in order to find the episode in this scenario right so check Olama availability first we check if his Olama is running and I mentioned that we also need to install Olama I, I don't think I did that you also need to download Olama and after you download Olama you need to have deep seek R1 in your computer and you can do this by copying the command here go to terminal and paste this command so Olama run deep seek R1 and latest if you already have the model with you then it will run otherwise it will first download the model which might take some time depending on the size of the model that you're downloading but once it's there just ensure that it's running by looking at the top here on at least a Mac and on the bottom right I believe here on Windows so that is all you will need for doing the setup and post that we first check if the Olama is available then we check the LLM that we want to use so we will ask the user here on our the settings place where what model they want to use for this right so they want to use O3 mini or they want to use deep seek R1 in our case we select deep seek R1 and you can see I'm running the latest deep seek R1 model which is I believe the 7 billion parameter model that is available with me so this one this one is the 7 billion parameter model I have in my Olama downloaded. All right, that said, let's continue getting the LLM from the user. So once we get the LLM, we need to create agents. And the first agent that we create will be the deep research specialist, whose goal will be to conduct comprehensive research and gather detailed information and backstories that expert researchers skilled at discovering hard to find information and connecting complex data points specializes in thorough and detailed research. We will pass the search tool and website tool to this agent because this agent will search the web and go to the website in order to get data from the web. We'll pass the LLM will keep the verbose as true so we know what the agent is doing and then we allow the delegation as false because we don't want this agent to delegate any tasks max iteration to be 15 because this is an expensive model and this will cost you money I think I've already spent like a dollar or something in order uh, by just testing the model then we also look at the research analyst whose job will be to analyze and synthesize research findings backstory expert analyst skilled at processing complex information identifying key patterns and insights specializes in clear actionable analysis we do the exact same thing we keep delegation and false and we give tools as search tool then the writer agent whose job will be to finally write the data in the structured format and then the goal to create clear structured reports from analysis expert writer skilled at transforming complex analysis into clear engaging content this is the backstory of this agent now we created agents the next thing we need to do is create tasks so first the research task and obviously the goal here is to do research second is the analysis task is to analyze the information once you do the research review and category categorize findings and identify patterns and trends, evaluate source credibility and note key insights. And then the synthesis task where the job is to kind of conclude the whole thing via a proper report format. Then we run the research where we first get what the model, what model the user is using. If Olama is not running, then by default, we use the OpenAI O3 mini model. If Olama is running and the user wants to use this, then we go ahead and use the Olama model. Then we create tasks, so researcher, analyst, writer and the topic. Uh, then we create the crew where we pass the agents the tasks and we keep verbose as true so we know what is going on and then finally we kick off the crew and then we go ahead and run the code next thing we need to do is define the ui of uh, streamlet if you have not done this before don't worry uh, you don't need to study this you can use gpt or claude in order to write code for you so we create the page name or we first create the page where the name is going to be deep research assistant so this is the page and we will create a sidebar where we will where we will tell the user to choose the model and depending on the model we choose we pass uh, this the status to the get use GPT function so if use GPT is true then we pass accordingly to our agents then we create the main content so deep research assistant markdown where we mention this so AI powered research then we create the uh, ST area research topic where we will tell the user to input the uh, details and then the placeholder for this again this is more on the lines of creating the UI for us and this is very basic again you, and also you have access to this code so please feel free to experiment and run it on your end. If you face any of these issues, ensure that you run pip install upgrade
field crew ai and crew ai tools because sometimes when, it, when you try to run these reasoning models and you're running on the previous version of crew ai it will fail so you need to ensure that you're up to date with this and i think our output for using deep seek r1 is generated it looks like the tv show you're referring to from the nines american sci-fi web series the episode is titled stranded at the slaughterhouse and so on but again it looks like the uh, output is different from the one that o3 mini gave us and basically mentioned this was uh, what was the name both sides now right so this is i i don't think that is correct but either ways let's try another example for both the models right let's take this one because i'm a business guy uh, while i do write code i'm a business guy let's try and see if uh, we get good output for this i'm running first one for deep seek r1 second one for o3 mini this takes quite some time especially for o3 mini because the model takes some time to run in the back end so i hope that i'm able to do the processing quickly because it, i'll have to wait very long for this video to complete so it appears that o3 mini has already generated the response this report gives compiled detail on mobile operating systems trends over the developing countries and so on so again the difference here is the kind of structure of the output if you want the structure of the output to be like this then you can also control that by giving this structure to the agent but because we want it to look like this we've we've kind of uh, given our own structure and this is why the output looks like this but if you look at the data it's actually very close to what the deep research agent also gives us because at the end of the day we're both accessing the same piece of information out there right and we've also gotten a bunch of different links here which we can use to deep dive further if you look at the r1 agent it's still doing research so if you talk about kind of you know running the model locally versus having self-hosted model on the cloud and then using it versus o3 mini that's something that i would look forward to but if you tell me to do the local bit for personal use cases it's fine but if you want more scalable approach for your own production based app then you obviously have to deploy the compiled data strongly supported dual market strategy for launching chat gpt ios translation app developed market focus on regions with high ios you know penetration so if you look at this uh, the recommendations here this is exactly what our agent uh, agent says too right so there you have it an open source deep research agent running locally on your computer and privately if you use o3 mini then you still have the advantage of paying relatively less not 200 dollars in order to get this running locally using your own crew ai framework and you can modify what the agent should do and should not do I'm still waiting for deep seek r1 to respond so I'm, I'm going to pause the video for a second until we get the response and then we jump into the output oh it's done so let's look at the report obviously it's not as detailed as the o3 mini report but it does give you the summary of the model now note i am running the 7 billion parameter model which is a smaller model if you run a long larger model then the response quality can significantly change and this is what you want right this is exactly what we want powerful model open source running privately locally works to the same extent that models like open ai we need do right now so really cool i hope this video adds value thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next one